Hello everyone, I'm Amber Mathis, your performance host for this evening. On top of sharing the inspiring stories of the people involved with Habitat for Humanity, we also have talented artists here giving their performances tonight. These talented people have come together for one purpose, to help raise money for the Gloucester County Habitat for Humanity. So sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's performers. Remember, you can donate anytime by visiting www.rtntelethon.com or by calling 856-256-5555. Our opening act, Crisby, is a psychedelic blues rock band from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. What songs can we look forward from you guys tonight? Uh, we're going to be playing three originals from our WDP. Uh, first one called Time to Fly, Here to Create, and then the third one is 532 Miles, which is available for free download on my website, crisby.com. All right, thank you so much. Next one's called Here to Create. It's got a little bit of a broken string going on. We'll make do.
This last one is called 532 Miles.
And this one's called Pack It Up. A little upbeat blues rock and roll number. Great job, guys. What a great way to open up the show. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure being here. All right, so I have a couple questions for you. First, what inspired your sound? Um, a lot of uh, like Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, that kind of stuff. Uh, late 60s, early 70s, classic rock and psychedelic blues and all that kind of good stuff. Nice. So I read you're also a guitar teacher on top of being a talented guitarist. So what's it like to share your love of music with younger people or your students? Um, it's actually one of the, some of the best experiences I can have as a musician and an artist because uh, I've, I've had so many great experiences growing up with old teachers and uh, different people like, giving me the opportunity to come play with them and showing me their ways and it's just really nice to be able to pass it back along and keep like the good blues rock and roll music alive, you know? Yeah. I'm looking at your schedule. I looked at your schedule earlier today and you're all over the place. What's it like to be on the road that much? Uh, it's the best. I love it so much and um, we've gotten a chance to travel a lot and get around the state and the tri-state area. Um, we did like an East Coast tour back in the fall with another band and it's just the best, I love it. What's your most interesting story from being on the road? Uh, Wavy Davy uh, from Orlando. This is out, this goes out to you. Um, definitely one of the most fascinating human beings I've ever met. It's a long story, but uh, Wavy Davy for sure. So you meet a lot of crazy people while you're on the road or interesting, uh, intriguing? Intriguing is a great word, <laughs> definitely. Okay, so what can we look forward to you guys in the future? Do you have new albums coming out? Yes, we're actually um, getting ready to release, well, I'm getting ready to release my first EP. I'm playing all the instruments on it. Um, we played the first three songs from the night will be on that CD. And um, 
hopefully that will be out before the summer and the spring kind of time. And there'll be like a big seed release party for that and all that cool stuff. Where does the name Crisby come from? Oh, uh, well, the name is Chris Baker, so it's like Chris B. That's my name. Oh, so it's like a combination. Of, oh, I see. That's creative. Yeah, okay. a little clever. Um, what's your favorite song off the next album that you're releasing? Uh, it's a tough choice. Um, it's probably this uh, untitled track that we didn't play tonight, but that'll be like the fourth song off the CD, and I'm really excited about that song. So what made you want to start being a musician and performing? Um, a Steve Ray Vaughan DVD that I saw, uh, just the way he played, and it was so ferocious and nothing like I've ever heard, so it made me want to pick up the Strat and kind of try to do the same thing, maybe. Can you tell us about the first time you ever picked up a guitar? Uh, yeah, I just made a bunch of noise, and it sounded awful, but I loved it, and it was a lot of fun. Are you self-taught? No, I've had several different teachers over the years, and I've been very grateful for all those guys I've worked with, and I've learned a lot from different people. So why do you think it's important to donate to Habitat for Humanity? Um, everyone deserves a fair chance in this world, I believe, and um, everyone deserves a nice home and something that they can afford, and we got to take care of each other as people, and I think that's, what it, that's a great cause, and that's what it's all about. All right. Um, so you, did you enjoy your performance here tonight? Absolutely. It was a blast playing here. Uh, amazing staff, and it was a lot of fun. Okay. Thank you so much.